the weekend. UFC again at the Apex in Las Vegas. Let's uh, go back to the phone lines as we continue talking about uh, UFC Fight Night and welcome Yusef Zalal. Yusef, how are you? Man, how are you guys? Uh, not too bad. Uh, welcome to Knockout Radio and welcome back to the UFC. Ha <laughs> ha, appreciate you guys. Thank you. And, and I was going to continue it in saying it's hard not to bring you back after your last three fights. Three wins, three early uh, knockouts. Uh, if you're going to come back, that's how you come back, right? Yeah, for sure, man. You know, you got you to gotta make a little statement before you get back. Speaking of statement, now my co-co-host, Matt is my co-co-host. There's a, a invisible chair that's between him and me. So it's just I want you to know how far down the line he is. <laughs> but so he doesn't know anything about what I'm about to talk about. And I don't like to do a whole lot of research. I just want it to be a conversation. But I did uh, throw up a couple of Googles. And I want you to talk about, to Matt, about winning the King of Sparta. Oh, uh, well, Matt is the craziest experience I've ever done in my life. That's number one. Uh, two, it, it's a wild story. So they have an uh, eight-man tournament. The first round is boxed in. It's uh, four, three rounds. And then four minute, three rounds. And then they have kickboxing after you win the first fight. Then you got to, like, 30 minutes later, you fight kickboxing. And the kickboxing is three three-minute rounds. And then you win that one, and like four hours later, you fight for the King of Sparta, which is the MMA fight. So I had like three different mixed martial arts all in one night. Wow. So I was thrown by it. Now, j just so you know, I've covered the UFC since the very first one, UFC 1. UFC oh, wow. 11 was the first one I actually attended. And, you know, I'm used to the tournament. So when I started to do the research, and all right, so you won a tournament. I saw a lot of guys win tournament, and then I saw what it was. It's not the same, you know, it's three different, you know, kickboxing, boxing, and MMA. What was the hardest of the three for you? The hardest actually was boxing because I was the only one that's actually fighting a boxer. The rest were all fighting MMA guys, kickboxing guys. I was fighting a boxer because I was the number one seed, so they put me with number one, uh, number eight seed. Wow, uh, Yusuf, so, I mean, I'm just blown away right now. <laughs> he is, it reminds, and, and, and he's never where he can't talk. Yeah, it reminds me of the the, the original of UFC. Sparta. <laughs> well, the original UFC. I mean, when they would fight multiple times, tournament style, and and that, I mean, I miss that like, component of competition. Um, now guys train, you know, four months, five months for one fight, one night. Uh, so, kudos to you. Uh, Randy obviously brought up the Sparta part because I think I'm a real life gladiator. And uh, <laughs> so when you come to Florida, we have a gladiator squat challenge. It's a five minute static hold done in the sympathetic response of your nervous system. So we'll come down, take the challenge, you win, you'll get prizes. Randy's got tickets to uh, shows, and we'll make a, a great time out of it. No, we'll take you fishing at uh, Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> Disney World. So, well, well, see so that, I mean, I'm down for whatever, you know. There, there you go. And ask Nobby. You know, people say, does he mean it? Nobby will tell you if I say it, I mean it. You know, I'll get you on the waters hey, at I the lakes. Let's go. And, and get like you. Out. So let me ask you this: as I remember the tournament back in the day, and and how athletes couldn't go a hundred percent in the first fight because if they won, obviously they had another fight and then a third fight. How did you handle this? How did you handle the boxing? I mean, did you hold back a little, or is it no sense holding it back? Because if you don't win the boxing, you're not going to have the kickboxing. Oh, I got a little fact for you that's going to change everything, how you fight, was they told us if you lose the first fight, you make zero dollars. So the whole prize was 10000 for the whole tournament. So I had to go all out on everything, boxing, kickboxing, and, and the MMA fight. And obviously, if you watch all of them, I was like, you can see the the meaner that I had and everything. Because they were like, you lose the first fight, you make zero dollars. You lose the second fight, you make about like 700 bucks. So I was like, no, I want I want the whole the whole pie. So so in other words, what you're saying in a roundabout way is when we go fishing at Disney World, dinner's on you. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Nice. Well, that's, hey. A, that's if you can't catch your own dinner. <laughs> nah, I'm going to pull that trick, man. See, I left my wallet in Palo Alto. I'm just, you know, uh, I didn't even know how I got into the plane, to be honest. They just got me on the plane. But 
Yeah, I appreciate you, boy. You got this? All right, my man. <laughs> well, since you brought that up, it is kind of funny because my producer and I, when we fly to Vegas to cover the UFC, the last time we went, he did that very thing. He left his wallet at home. <laughs> so oh, how we got on I'm the... telling you, man. You got to have fun with it a little bit. <laughs> exactly. Uh, how will the next couple days, how will you get through it? How do you relax? You know, I always ask fighters, do you try not to think about Saturday? Or do you want to block it out and just let the next couple days go? I kind of just enjoy the, like, the week, right? Like the media and uh, just hanging out with my teammate and then the coaches, obviously, and all that stuff. For me, I always think about the fight until I start cutting weight. Like when it comes to like Thursday, Friday, that's when I kind of like think about the fight a little bit. But I don't even think about it on, like, during the week and, until that time. You know, as you're talking about cutting weight, Matt always loves when I say this, and we have a trainer in here, and they're trying to motivate me and all this stuff. I always tell you fighters, my next uh, weight cut will be my cremation. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that escalated quickly, didn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, it's living right. <sighs> so, so, Yusuf, so, uh, I'm here with a great friend of mine, Damar. He's a trainer. He does a lot of body movement stuff. Like, uh, what do you call it? Oh. Man, the song, you can call it Animal Flow, you can Qi Gong, Tai Chi, it's a blend of every blend, so, blend of it. So the question is, you know, as you prepare for fight camp, do you add in any kind of functional body movements that are not traditional to, like, the sport of MMA? Yeah, for sure, man. They Like, I'm not I'm not the guy, like, I go to strength conditioning, you know, they make us do some crazy shit, you know, so I'm like... He said, shit. Like, hold on, hold on. Like, let, me, let me just jump in. He said, you know, FCC's listening. You you know that I was in the Navy, so you said, ship, S H I P. You know, the big, the big ships, you know? <laughs> exactly. It's, the big one. exactly. It's, the, it's, a, it's like, you know, the long 30 foot one. <laughs> An aircraft carrier. <laughs> so, so, guys. Oh, man, yeah, they make, me, they make me do all that stuff, you know, and I was like, I was like, what is this, man? It's like some movement for your knees, your hips, your your back, and all that stuff. So 100%. Like, I, I let them take control, you know, man. I just I just listen and do my job and get out of there. So you get the phone call, ring, 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 ring. Hey, Yousef, do you want to fight Billy Quarantillo? So, so tell us about that phone call. Well, I tell the story was, so I got selected for the ultimate fighter. So I went there. They flew me to Vegas from Monday to technically until Tuesday to go to the house. So we did the medicals all week uh, and everything. And then I, on Friday, I get a knock on the door by the producer. They're like, hey, you got selected as an alternate. You didn't make it. So I was like, man, like you guys got me all the way here. I, I did what I got to do. Nobody wanted to fight in the regional scene. All this stuff. I wanted to prove my, my skills in front of everybody because it's the house was all international, all upcoming talent, all this stuff. I was ready to prove it. I was ready to do everything. So I was like a little, you know, a little butthurt a little bit, you know. And then literally 23 hours, I get a call, like you said, ring, ring. And I was like, man, you better give me some good news, man. I was like, you know, talking to him, my manager. This is my manager. And then, man, he talked about, they thought I, I did something at that hotel because, man, I was loud. I was, I was out of my seat. Especially when I find out is that is that opponent too, and I was, I was man, I was. Whew. So, so you just speaking of out of your seat, uh, Randy sits at concerts. He disclosed earlier in the segment that he doesn't like to stand, that his way of enjoying <laughs> it is sitting. What's your view on concerts, and, and does it increase the energy for the crowd and for the performer if everyone's standing in unison? See, I'm, I'm like with him. I don't like to sit up so much. Like I like I like to sit down a little bit. But I think I think standing up will it's almost like motivation to the to the musician and to, uh, to the artist, you know. Well, we're gonna become better friends <laughs> because. <laughs> I'm not saying, man. I'm like. You got, I got like a good 20 minutes in me, and you got to, I got to sit down, bro. I'm like, <laughs> exactly. I, 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 I train every day and all this stuff, so let's, let's just have some fun, you know? So, so here's my thinking on it. 
if the entertainer wants to pay me to stand to entertain them, I'll stand. But if I'm going to... Oh, yeah, pay... I'll send you my routing number and everything. Got me in. I got it. I'm sitting. I'm relaxing. You know, I, I'm, I'm here to enjoy it. I'm not here to perform for the performers. The performers are singing to me. <laughs> World-class elite athletes sitting down for 20 minutes at concerts. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Bro, I'm telling you, I don't even like walk, man. They're like... Oh, man, you want to go on walks? I was like, for what? <laughs> what, what, what? What am I walking for? <laughs> this what, is what, what is this? I, I see the nature. I love the nature. I'm good. All yeah. right, so before Matt throws out another boring question, <laughs> uh, we, 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 need, we need to make sure that you come down to the Tampa Bay area. We definitely need to hang out, or I'll fly to Denver and we can hang out. Oh, uh, no, I got to go to Tampa. I got to go to Tampa for sure. I've never been there. Okay. okay. Matter of fact, we'll go out with Billy. So Billy lives here in Tampa. We'll all go hang out after the fight. Hey, it's better. Just, hey, this is like it's just business, brother. It's just business. You know, and, and I've always talked about that, and, and, and I tell fighters that I had a fight with my brother. He's two years older than me. I think I was 19 and he was 21. I still hate him. And, and I, talk to me about that, that, it's, that it is. It's just business, and once the fight's over, you can go back, live in your life, and so can your opponent. Oh, for sure, man. We we signed up for this job. We know what it comes with it. You know, we we're like, all right, man. We we might fight each other and hate each other, or we might fight each other and love each other. You never know. D does it matter to you whether you like or dislike or have feelings towards your opponent? I used to, man. That the younger me used to be like, ah, oh, man. I feel bad for this guy. Like, especially when they come up with a story like, oh, he has a kid. He's a single father, or this, or this, or that. You're like, man, he came out from nothing. And I'm like, all right, man. Like. Let's not focus on that. Like, everybody got their story. I got my story. You got your story. But both of our dreams are in line right now. So I want to go for mine, and you want to go for yours. Uh, Yusuf, you hit everything right on the head, and I agree 100%. And uh, it sounds like you and Randy are now training partners. I mean, I brought in my expert. <laughs> it looks like you guys have more in common. No walks, no standing. That's perfect. Uh, <laughs> Randy, you can bust some hair, though. Hey, man, I'll, I'll, walk, I'll walk if we're getting some food. I, I, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I do want to walk. Like, what's, 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 what's famous in uh, Tampa? Uh, Burn Steakhouse, the Cuban, sandwiches. Cuban sandwiches, the barbecue beer. Cuban sandwiches, like, get me in there. Just uh, you, See, the problem is, though, you can't give me no pork, though. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right, we can do that. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll make well, a towel. I don't know. I saw the room a little change right there. You better, you better, you better give me some beef, some chicken, well, some we, shrimp. You know, come on now. We'll do that. We'll, we'll do the barbecue. We'll do the great seafood. pizza. I know I'm a great pizza guy. Yeah. Oh, come on, bro. Pizza. I love pizza, bro. I actually watched, uh, what's his name? The Dave, uh, Dave Barnacle, Portnoy. bro. Yeah. He's my favorite. Oh, fav my God. I love that pizza stuff. Yeah, Dave's my favorite pizza guy. So Dave is my favorite pizza guy. <laughs> <laughs> we out here clicking too much, boys. Come on now. No, we, we got to get together. For real. I, I, you know what? I, I changed my stance on Portnoy, and my stance is this. He Matt, wanted to fight him, Yousef. I used to. Matt wanted to fight because Matt thinks he's a pizza guy, and Dave is a pizza guy, so he wanted to fight him. It was actually the opposite. Oh, I think I think we should promote this. Oh, no, no, no. So no, forget that. No, I'm 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 <laughs> even more of a Dave fan now because look, if you go back to retail, they used to have fear to get you to hold your job because secret shoppers might come in uh -huh. and they would hold you captive. Like you can't get your bills, you might lose your job, you'll get punished and yelled and ridiculed in front of your coworkers. Dave has created a culture of secret mystery shopper for the pizza industry that owners are benefiting from because now people are on their toes. They're doing the job just in case he shows up, and they're putting out better product. Who pizza, is this guy? Pizza artists are are creative people. <laughs> like they're they're masters of their craft. Right now, the best in the world are in Vegas at the Pizza Expo. I'm a part of the U.S. Pizza team, and it's the greatest form. And Dave has revolutionized the entire industry. So I supply all that. Shout out, Dave. Right, you said That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> I feel like I even downloaded the app and everything. I was looking in Denver. I was like, which one is the best pizza? Which one is hot?